Babies born with critical medical needs need the best care available. Sometimes that means traveling to a hospital far from home. Until now. One hospital has a new way to examine the most fragile patients. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren explains, new at 5 o'clock. Dr. Rashman Savani can't hold this infant in his arms, but he can still listen to the heartbeat and the sound of the baby breathing. It's truly remarkable to watch and examine babies in 125 miles away. He is using a brand new kind of technology called the Telenicu to examine a baby, look at the x-rays, and conference with the family. I am able to uh, put my headphones on uh, that uh, allows me to listen to the heart, the, the lungs, and so on. It enables the UT Southwestern doctors who work here at Children's Medical Center in Dallas. It's been extremely helpful. To share their expertise with doctors like Nancy Pusser at Trinity Mother Francis and Tyler. What do you think? This is what the baby's exam is. Why don't you take a look with me and you can listen to them and you can observe, observe the baby with me and maybe give me some uh, insight. Trinity Mother Francis is a level three NICU, but Children's Medical Center is a level four, a higher, the highest level of infant critical care. Three UT Southwestern neonatologists actually have a telenicu in their homes so they can consult with patients 24-7. In the last month, Dr. Savani and his colleagues have seen a dozen babies through the telenicu. And Dr. Savani says the ones who really benefit from this device are these fragile patients who can now stay closer to home. They're small, fragile, and we want to try and avoid transfers if at all possible because that's going to result in a better outcome. In Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. The collaboration between Children's Medical Center, UT Southwestern, and Trinity Mother Francis and Tyler is just the first step. They'd like to connect with more hospitals in the future and use the Telenicu as a teaching tool.